Hello everyone, I'm Chris Erickley. Welcome to your week six edition of the HS Game Time You Pick'em Show. To my left, the man, as always, he's just as reliable as a cup of joe at 5 a.m. in the morning. Kyle Glazer. They call him, his nickname is 11 and 4 these days, right, Kyle? Pretty much. I think that's what I've gone at least uh, three or four weeks in a row in our uh, picks. I'm trying to up that, get into that 13 and 2 range. There we go. Building on it for this coming week. We've got a guy that we want to give a quick shout out to who actually went 14 and 1 last week. It was Eric. We hope we're saying his first name right. Galliano. Uh, he got 14 out of 15. He's from Hemet. Uh, speaking of Hemet, we got the Battle of the City of Hemet uh, coming up a little bit later here on the Pick'em Show. First, though, we begin with Norco and Centennial. This game, maybe not one that people uh, a week ago would have been that excited about, but after Norco pulled off the Shock City versus Alemany on Friday night, right now still, though, 88% going Centennial. You know, Norco and Centennial is always a great game. Two great teams, uh, great, competitive, great competitors, great coaches. Norco's win over Alemany just showed that, you know what, they are capable of beating teams that are considered some of the tops in the state. You know Norco's going to come out fired up. Centennial, though, you can't pick up against them in Big 8 league play. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. So I am going to go with the Huskies. But there's no question, Norco is definitely a program, you know, they're not going away. I think some people wrote them off as a 2-8, and 3-7 and seven team this year. This is a good team, and I think that uh, Centennial, it, it won't be a walkover victory. Another game that uh, should be a shootout out in the southwest is Great Oak and Marietta Valley. Right now, 73% going with Marietta Valley. Great Oak, they've been packing the stands lately. Marietta Valley as well. Both teams looking strong. Kyle, who do you like? You know, Great Oak is definitely much, much better than I think a lot of people thought they were going to be going into the season. But that said, Marietta Valley, they've been one of the top three or four teams throughout the entire inland area uh, for most of the season. I do think the Nighthawks are going to come out on the winning end of this one. Then another game that never disappoints. It's Elsinore and Paloma Valley. That game is at Paloma Valley. 78% are taking Paloma Valley right now. Last year the game went down to the wire. Seems to always be the case. Kyle, who do you like? This is one of those coin flip games. Uh, this is I wouldn't be surprised to see either team pull it out. I am going to go with Paloma Valley. Uh, they've done a good job finding ways to win. We saw they had that good OT victory over Moreno Valley a couple weeks ago. I do like the Wildcats in this one, but once again, do not count Elsinore out. This is, uh, this is one that you can almost flip a coin, I think. Then uh, we were talking about the battle for Hemet. We've got Hemet and Tokwitz. Tokwitz last week with a good win over Temecula Valley. Right now, 96%. Uh, taking Tokwitz, but Hemet has been improved this year, Kyle. Hemet is much improved. That said, Tokwitz is still the better team. I think if you go position by position across the board, Tokwitz is better. They're a little more comfortable and confident having uh, been to the playoffs last year. I do expect the Titans to win this one fairly easily, but, you know, Hemet is going to be more competitive than maybe they've been in past years. Finally, our final game, which is the tiebreaker game, pretty much the definition of a coin flip. People are really torn on this one. It's Roosevelt Santiago. Right now, 53% are taking Santiago by a, get this, whopping average score of 31 to 30. So clearly people are, are very confident in their picks right now. Kyle, one thing we do know is this game will probably not feature a lot of defense. It should be a shootout. Well, Roosevelt's defense has had some good moments this year. They've shown the ability to hold opponents down into uh, the mid-20s. Santiago's defense hasn't really shown they can do that yet once they face some of these explosive offenses. That's the reason I'm going to pick Roosevelt. I think both teams will put up their share of points, but I think Roosevelt's going to get one or two more stops against Santiago. I think that will be the difference. But as you said, this is a coin flip game. I think I've changed my mind on this game five or six times in the past uh, couple hours. So it could really go either way, but I am going to pick the Mustangs in this one. Definitely plenty of games to get excited about this week. Kyle, you will be out there at that Centennial Norco game, right? Yep, I'll be at Norco Centennial on Friday. On Thursday, we have a little early week special. I'll be at Par Polly Arlington. The battle for Riverside. That's what they're battle uh, billing it as, right? Apparently. <laughs> All right. Well, that does it for your week six edition of the HS Game Time You Pick 'em Show. Be sure to get all those picks in, those Thursday ones. There's two games this week by 5 p.m. Thursday. And then, of course, the ones 5 p.m. on Friday. That does it. We'll see you out there on Friday night.